Since we we're just talking about changing storage policies and that storage backend, I wanted to talk about what happens when we expand to VMDK. And we'll go through two different examples in this video. The first example is inside of our component limit. So let's say we've got our VM that's got a 100 gig VMDK and it's starting to fill up and we decide, you know what? I want to increase the storage space. Our max component size is 255 gigs. So if we increase it to 150 gigs, it doesn't see that amount. We can still continue using our existing components. We don't need to create a new object. If we go to 200 gigs, exact same situation. Nothing's happening on the back end. We don't need to make any changes in the environment. We don't need to worry about storage consumption. We're just using it inside those existing components. For a second example, let's say we go a little bit further. Let's say we increase that storage space from 100 gigs over to 300 gigs. Now we've exceeded our component limits. And vSAN knows this. And so what it does is it bolts on a temporary component. We call this a concatenation. This is just a temporary space, so you already get access to that data. But on the back end, vSAN builds a brand new VMDK object and then kicks off a resync. We resync that data down to the new object, just like we did in the storage policy video. Once it's done, we then blow away or delete that original object, reclaiming that space. And that's something I want you to keep in mind for your environments. If you're looking at increasing the size of a VMDK, do we have the additional capacity to allow that operation to complete? Wrapping up this video, we walked through two different examples of expanding a VMDK. The first one was inside that 255 gig amount. As a result, vSAN said, you've got some additional storage, and that was it. For that second example, we exceeded that 255 gig amount and expanded it up to 300 gigs. As a result, vSAN had to build a brand new object, begin that resync, cut over to it, and then delete the original object. As a result, that took up more storage in our environment. I hope you found this video informative. I'd like to thank you for watching.